Hey guys, Martin here, and um, welcome to the first part in uh, building a Chaos Warhound. So what you can see in front of you here is lots and lots of forge whale bags. Um, I'll sort of show you a quick shot of just how many bags there is in total. Um, I've got, I'll get all the pieces out and lay them all out for you um, so that you can see them. And then we've got um, a turbo laser. And also we've got a plasma blast gun. Um, they're the two weapon options I've gone with here, but I'm going to magnetise them all on. And um, yeah, so I'll, I'll cut off from here now and then I'll have everything laid out all on its gates ready to go in for dipping and, and, and stripping of release agents. So I'll be back in one second. So guys, back again and this is all the pieces um, to the Reaver Titan. So obviously starting across over here, all sorts of pistons, some toes, um, looks like centerpiece for maybe um, the, the, the pelvis area, I don't know, I haven't checked them all out. Hip joints, um, big ball joints there for the hips. Um, and then, so you've got the toes there, um, thigh plates, shin plates, um, that will be the, the centre of the torso. Um, leg joints, some cabling, now all right, yeah, they look warped, um, but they're going to have to be moulded into place anyway, so they they typically, if they're anything like the pipes on the Reaver, you heat them up and then you manipulate them into place. You've got the head, oh, well, sorry, the main body carapace, and then there's obviously a mesh grill to go in there. Um, oh, we've got the inner cockpit, the detail in there is absolutely, if we can get a focus on it, it'd be great, there you go. Details fantastic inside the Chaos one. The Imperial one's nice, the Chaos one's just so much nicer. <clears throat> Princeps. Um, sat inside there. Not the Princeps, I'm a Servitor, I think, actually. Um, then we've got the actual head carapace. I just think that's so fantastic. Um, really does have that wolf hunt look. Again, another Servitor inside there. And these are the back piece of the void shields obviously go on here and then just again even in even inside there all the detail and it makes it more chaosy where this it's just bits of evil coming out from everywhere <laughs> that's probably the way of explaining it um the detail is just fantastic um and the good thing with it being chaos, even if there is some air bubbles in the resin, which I'm sure there is um, some vents for the back, um, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> it just adds to the chaos look. Here's the chaos plasma gun. So even even this has all been chaosed up. Um, so good. Um, and then the turbo laser, um, which isn't very chaosy, um, if I'm completely honest, it's just a standard turbo laser. It's even got the Aquila on it, so that'll be getting taken off and I'll, um, I'll suitably nerglify, um that. Um, it's going to be painted up in Death Guard colours, even though Death Guard, even though, sorry, the, the, the Mechanicum didn't issue specific Titans to specific Legions, with the Chaos ones it doesn't seem to matter, so it won't be a Death Guard Warhound, but it will have a lightning um, colour wise because I think they probably would have just done that um, and obviously that that's all that um, and over here we've got our instructions sheet one of six um, how to assemble um, comprehensive forge world instructions as ever um, so you can see through there Princeps when he's in, cable connectors, that's what he should look like when he's finished. Um, and then as always when you buy um, one of the, the, the super heavies from Forge World, um, the Fabricator General has decreed that your army may deploy the might of a Warhound Titan. 
um, in the Cyanic configuration. Um, I don't know. May your weapon be granted, be, be guarded against malfunction as you, as your is guarded from impurity, as your soul is guarded from impurity. Um, the machine god watches over you. Unleash the weapons of war. Unleash the death dealer. Um, and it's Mars issue number 3383. Um, my, my argument with this is this is an imperial certificate for a chaos warhound. Um, I don't necessarily agree that, that they should should issue them that way. But it is what it is. And then um, the, the invoice behind which we'll leave from my wife's eyes. Um, so yeah, this is going to be um, all going off into a bucket i'm gonna i'm gonna take all the all the gates off um clean it all down get it all in a bucket of um hot soap well warm soapy water leave it overnight scrub it all then with sif um because that's got like a a gritty um agent in it and it'll just get the rest off give it another rinse and then i'll come back and the next video that you will see from me um will be it hopefully all laid out in peace order, I'm um, all cleaned and ready for assembly um, and I'll explain how I'm going to assemble this beast. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video.